Hey everyone, so I'm going to do a couple of outfits of the day. This is actually the outfit of the night. It is the Friday evening service for the beginning of Yom Kippur, which is the Jewish Day of Atonement. And I'll put a link to an explanation of what that is in the description box. But I wanted to show you my outfit real quickly. Um, this is, let's do hair and makeup first. I had my hair done yesterday, so that's why it looks nice. Don't get used to that. Um, on my face, I'm trying a new foundation. It's the Rimmel. Match Perfection foundation that goes with my favorite under eye concealer as far as eyes go. It's all MAC. It's MAC Quarry, MAC Expensive Pink, or MAC Jest, I can't remember which, um, Satin Taupe in the Crease. And then on my lips is an Inglot pencil that I'll have to go look for in my purse, I'll put that in the description box. Um, earrings and necklace are from Charming Charlie's, I think, or they could have been from Sam Moon. I think they're from Sam Moon. And the usual. Nail polish is um, by Dior. I don't know the number, but I will put that in the description box. There's a little sample that was given to my friend Katie and then she gave it to me. And now on to the fun part, the dress. So the dress is by Theory and it is a fit and flare shape, which I have decided is the perfect style for me. It's just a gray, kind of a wool fabric. I, I don't know what you describe it. It's very fitted and I really like the little pleats at the bottom. And then, are you going down? Okay. Down. On my feet are, I showed you this on Facebook. I found this online and decided I really, really wanted these for the fall. And my husband was sweet enough to take me shopping for the dress and then said I needed the shoes to go with it. So these are brand new from Stuart Weitzman. So far I've only been able to find them at Neiman Marcus. They're not even in the Stuart Weitzman uh, shops, and I don't know the name of these, but again, they'll be in the description box. And then, you may pen up, Mr. Gold Girl. Keep going up, like my head. Okay, my husband is filming this, so much steadier than the boys. Then, just in case it gets cold in the sanctuary, outside it's almost 100 degrees, but it's always freezing in the sanctuary, I brought this beautiful scarf. My friend went to Pakistan and got this for me. It's two-sided, it kind of picks up the colors in my shoes. And I can just wear it like this. And then when it gets really cold, I can unbunch it and wrap it around using it as a blanket. And then when the surfaces get really long and boring, I can just cuddle up and go to sleep. No, I'm kidding. And then my purse for the evening is my Mulberry Medium Lily bag that I got um, in Scotland. And inside is a little surprise that I got today. And this is the Mulberry, I think it's the French purse in glossy goat skin in pink. So she fits perfectly in here. And now my life is complete for this week. So anyway, that's my outfit for tonight. Tomorrow will be a different outfit that I'll put in this video. So I'll see you in just a moment. This is an outfit of the day. This was from Morning Services for Yom Kippur. This is the Diane von Furstenberg dress that I got at Nordstrom a couple weeks ago. And here it is on. So it, I am five foot four. Um, I am wearing four inch heels, but I'm five foot four, and it comes just a couple inches above the knee, and it's fitted, and then it flares, and then um, everything else is pretty basic. Basic black pumps. These happen to be my uh, Louboutin Decoltissimo 100s in black, and then for the rest of my accessories. Uh, my usual fossil watch. I forgot to get a battery for my dress watch. And then um, Tiffany bracelet. This is from, these two are from my husband for Valentine's Day. And I can't remember who makes them. Honora makes the pearl one, and I think Ariat or Arius makes this one. I couldn't find it on their website. Um, bright and old, bright and earrings. And then my makeup's a little different. I'm doing kind of a darker smoky eye. I can't remember which MAC eyeshadow this is. It might be concrete. I'll list it in the description box. Blend it out with soft brown and then arena um, on top of that. And Rimmel Black Eyeliner. My lipstick I want to mention, again, I can't remember the name. I'll put it in the description box. It's the Ingla. I lined my lips first with the Too Faced Nude Lip Liner. Then I went over on top of that with an Ingla Lipstick Crayon. And then on top of that, it was the Bourjois 3D Lip Gloss in Rose Brune, I think it's called. And I want to point this out because it is 120. And I put all this on at 9.45, and I have not had to, this, it's still beautiful. I have no idea how that worked. 
So, of course I haven't eaten anything. But that's it. That's the outfit and um, I hope you like it. Um, we're going out to break the fast, a little more casual, and so I've changed out of my service clothes. And this is my usual medium lily bag, but I pulled the strap so that I can wear it crossbody. But I will take it off and um, hang it up. And then, okay, the top is, these are faux leather. This is from Target. I just picked this up in the last week, so you can get it still at Target. If I can find the link, I'll put it in the description box. Um, it would probably, it's a little longer in the back. It would look cuter tucked in. But since I'm planning on stuffing myself, I'm leaving it loose so that I can eat more. Hello. These are my new Joe's jeans. I rolled them up a little bit to show off the beautiful shoes. Excuse me, dog. Um, these are my new BCBG Max Azaria or Azaria shoes. They zip up in the back and they have some killer heels. Um, makeup's the same from this morning. Sit. Good boy. Makeup is the same from this morning. I just darkened the lips up because it's evening and just give it a little edgy look. And, oops, I forgot to change my earrings. I'm going to go change my earrings to the big black hoops that I've been wearing in the last few videos with the gold studs. Just because. So I will take these out and um, that's it. Last outfit of the weekend. We're off to Sunday school. Very casual. My husband and I drop the kids off and we get breakfast, run errands, and then pick them up because it's three hours and Sunday school is just for kids. Okay, so I'll take off my sun. My sunglasses are Ralph Lauren. I don't know the brand. I got them two years ago now at um, the Ralph Lauren outlet store in Blowing Rock, North Carolina, and I cannot find these, and I do like them. They have sort of the blonde sides. Anyway, so the outfit. Um, on my face, I'm wearing an oldie but a goodie, the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells trio. I have blended out a little bit with um, Chanel Heather Rose, which is discontinued, but Mac Ho, Ho Hoax. Oh, H-A-U-X is very similar. Um, Maybelline, Make Me Pink or something like that. All will be in the description box. I'm so tired. It's been a very busy weekend. Uh, earrings are from Charming Charlie. This is the one of the shirts I got in my Old Navy haul. It's so soft and comfy. The jeans are Joe's jeans. Honestly, they're the ones I had on last night. And then uh, my Tory Burch flats because I'm sick of walking in heels. I've been in heels all week. And then my new um, bag that was a present from my husband. This is the Balenciaga Velo bag in red. I guess it's red. I don't know. And uh, the reason, real quickly, why I picked this bag is because I can wear it like this, which is annoying, but um, I can actually even get it up here if I want to. But what I really love about it versus the regular city bag is that it's a crossbody and for traveling and walking around, this is much more comfortable, and it zips, so, and it has a little pocket for my phone. So that is my casual Sunday outfit, and um, that's it for my trio of outfits, or, I, gosh, I don't know, it's been a long weekend. I think I have there are four in this video. Thanks so much for watching, I'm going to shut up now, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.